The polar regions and Europe were hit hardest by global warming in 2022. According to a new analysis, the data from Copernicus, the EU's climate monitoring service, says 2022 was the fifth warmest year globally. Europe experienced its warmest summer, with temperatures increasing by more than twice the global average over the past three decades, faster than any other continent. The last eight years are now also the warmest eight yet recorded. Last year saw a continuation of a pattern of global warming that has become the new normal, say Copernicus scientists. While the La Nia plus or minus a weather event helped to cool the oceans for the third year in a row, global temperatures were still approximately 0.3 C higher in 2022 than the 1991-2020 reference period. Researchers say this means that last year was close to 1.2 C above the 1850-1900 period, taken as the start of global industrialization. Europe and the polar regions were at the sharp end of this high heat. Temperature records in many Western European countries were broken including the UK, with summer heatwaves and intense droughts hitting many parts. Even the normally cooler month of October in Europe was some 2 C above average last year. While the west of the continent was extremely hot, colder weather in northern and eastern countries saw the year overall drop to second warmest in Europe. We're already experiencing climate change now, said Samantha Burgess, deputy director of the Copernicus Climate Change Service. The heat waves that we saw in Europe over the summer, but also the spring, and also the autumn. Many people will remember the heat wave that we had over the New Year's period as well. So we're seeing heat waves, not only in the summer, but in the rest of the seasons. Over the past 30 years, temperatures in European countries have increased by more than twice the global average. According to the Copernicus service, Europe has the highest rate of temperature increase of any continent in the world. This is due to a number of factors, say researchers. Land areas are warming faster than the seas, so this is helping make Europe warmer. Another factor is proximity to the Arctic, which is warming at around four times the global average. Part of the reason is that ice is more reflective and less absorbent of sunlight.